I want to explain awakening to you through just one example. There's many, many examples that I'll give. Anything that I've said in the last three years to my phone, because there's nobody here ever. Nobody's ever here. All there ever is is when you hear the words in your ears and you take it in and you listen to it. Yeah, there's other people out there that are touching you. But when they touch you, you're taking into your senses. When you're saying it out to them, you're saying it out. You're noticing yourself saying it. You see them, so you see them react to you. You know that they're going to react to you most of the time because you made a statement. And you know statements and you know that actions create reactions. So therefore, you're never going to be able to get past that loop where you think that other people are there. Well, of course they are. They're masses moving around, energy, light, bent into form. Now, I'm not going to do the woo-woo talk. I'm just going to go right into my mom, dad, brothers. I love them all very much, personally. So when I talk about them, I'm only using them for examples because I know that they'll listen to this if they ever did and like take it to heart, hopefully. But here's the thing. You know, my parents are 70, so... Does that mean that you should take care of your yard, not go out in public very often because everybody's wearing masks and everybody's crazy and, you know, talk bad about your neighbor across the street because they like to be loud and do different things? Uh, look for tasks to do and then sit and watch TV at the end of the night where you're br broadcasting into your brain silly things about, I don't know, game shows and and pet tricks and people talking about trendy stuff who are talking about trendy stuff who are talking about the same trendy stuff over and over with different little new people and different little gimmicks added to it and it's sort of just weird watching them do it. it makes you think to yourself is that what somebody does when they're 70 i would say no that's what they choose to do when they're 70 my brother like, he has an awakened being right here who exercises all the time, feels great, feels healthy, doesn't eat at all, but somehow I'm up 24-7 just about. You know, I, I sit down and I close my eyes to meditate for four hours or so at a time sometimes, but I never lay down to sleep. I never have to. And nobody has to. We've all been doing so many things our whole lives that when somebody tells you what you actually need to do to survive, you, you just laugh. You don't even need to eat more than once or twice a week and it's not because you're out of shape it's because you feel your body now you're not being controlled off of what you see on tv and all your cravings telling you that you need that that's a neural activity just like i started saying you stimulate outside you by seeing a person there okay this is a giant we, we look at it as a globe okay picture that globe as a big geome held of energy and you're one of the pieces that can analyze itself that's exactly what's happening with one living energy, with all different points of view. And those points of view are meant to actually use their minds and consciously come together to work on something meaningful. Not to sit and watch silly TV shows. Like, come on, you have to get this through your head. We have a living essence in us. It isn't to sit and waste our time. Sure, at a certain age, that's fine. I'm not really trying to use my parents for this example. I mean, I'm just saying a lot of people do a lot more than my parents, and they do a lot like outside and they're very active in that way so I'm not trying to put that down but there should never be a moment where you dull your mind to doing something that doesn't require your brain to be working or for your either body to be resting or nourishing or helping the environment there's times to rest sure but when you do it do it with something that isn't unbeneficial to your mind like there's plenty of things to stimulate your mind with to do good like like I was saying, my, my brother, he, he, he chooses to be on his phone, looking at his phone 24-7, playing little app games that keep you occupied and whatever. And, and, you know, being about 50, I'm not trying to put anybody down. But that's not what anyone should be doing with their time. If they thought about the fact that they're a living, breathing being, aside from all the little things they've gone through, for all the big things they've gone through, for all the titles that they've given themselves and the the conditions that they've gone to get diagnosed for, there's just a living, breathing being there that can get control of their mind and be in control of it all and not have any of those diagnoses anymore, not have any of those problems anymore because you can control yourself. You just, most people don't know they can. They just have no clue. And when someone starts talking about it, it sounds too out of the out of whack. They have, they're like, no way. You know, and then my other brothers, like one brother is off, he, he's gambling all the time. 
He's busy working and trying to make money for he's going to get married again. He's chasing that thing. You know, he's got his son. He went through the custody thing. I did all that, too. But and he's he still wants to get married again. He's always gambling. He's quitting one job, moving to another place, quitting another job, you know, get another job to fill in for money and, you know, going out to spend his time fishing and killing things and eating and getting drunk and you know these things aren't things that a conscious being does anymore and the thing is i'm meant to be plopped right in the middle of everyone i love who does it so that i don't judge them in a negative way but i see it happening so i can say it to them doesn't mean they're going to like me for it in fact they're not going to like me for it because i'm pointing out all the things they shouldn't be doing and they know they shouldn't and that's why they get upset like my brother chuck i love him but he's out chasing like the the big house and the and the nice job selling guns out in the woods, shooting at stuff. Like, that's not that's not being part of nature. That's being a problem to nature. You know, if you're going out to help things, sure. If you're making guns to destroy. I mean, your heart is in a good place. His heart is in a great place. He's a great guy. But people get in such a routine of their hobbies and habits that think that those are, are feasible things to do and they have the right to do. You don't have the right to kill anything. If it's alive, it has just as much of a right to kill you. you. You have as much of a right to kill me as you do as a deer. So next time you shoot a deer, you're shooting your brother. But I'm not your brother. I'm enlightened. I'm, I'm not Dan anymore, and I haven't been. But the problem is nobody takes me seriously. And I, I can't be in this character, Dan, all the time, trying to act like these things matter. They don't. If I can't talk sense into people for what they choose to do with themselves, like, it's not my problem, but they're taking it on for themselves by not listening to someone who's just saying, listen, you need to start focusing your mind. I don't care how stupid they make it sound on TV. That's why they encourage things that make anything about self-improvement or whatever look nerdy or stupid or whatever, because then you don't do it. You jump into your lower chakra things and you act like a child your whole life and you yearn for sex, entertainment, flashy lights, fun games and jokes. That's what people are doing all the way to the time they die. And when they die, when the meaningfulness comes and everyone's gathered on your deathbed, if they even show up because they even remember that you're there. If they show up, you'll be like, what was it all for? And your spiritual being will go on and do the same fucking loop again. Do you want to do this again and again? I don't. I've done it so many times that I, I'm done. But Dan Alexander is, is the way for everyone to understand. I, br I break down names and letters and stuff and all that. Plenty. So I'm not going to do it right now. But I was meant to lead people. I was meant to help people through this body not dan but dan was meant for it too by his name by him actually understanding the power of the word and being able to speak it to others the light language being honest being from your heart taking it straight from from above and putting it out in front of you like an l that's the light language anyway i'm not going to get into any of that stuff so i love you guys and peace